So, uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Cecile, CEO of Stereo Labs, and we make the, the Z camera. Yeah. So and this is a, a 3D uh, depth camera, right? Exactly. And, and uh, this is going to be really important in the next few years as uh, these things start to shrink down in size and get put on glasses like Magic Leap, right? Exactly. So uh, what is your camera for right now? And uh, who do you think will, buy, uh, will need this camera right now? So we're targeting two applications, uh, autonomous navigation and augmented reality. And as you said, depth uh, is a very critical information for these two applications. And so what we've done here is actually uh, reproducing how human vision works. So because we all have two eyes, and but if you look at cameras on the market, they all have one sensor, one lens. So we decided to bring human vision to machines. So imagine what you can do with the, uh, oops. Yeah, <laughs> you got in there. <laughs> so if you put this on a drone or a car or a robot, it will actually see and understand just like we do. Yeah. So imagine the world you can build with this. So a drone, you, you can actually put a robot or a drone at, at home, and it will understand how the space is organized, so it, it can see uh, if there's a person, it can actually recognize objects. Yeah. So yeah, you can do a lot of uh, applications. How much does this cost right now? Uh, Four hundred forty-nine dollars. Okay. So it's the cheapest depth sensor on the market that works indoors, outdoors, and sees up to twenty meters. Okay. So, so uh, sees up to twenty meters is important. So it, it it's doing what? Is it spitting out uh, light and waiting for it to come back? How how does it actually see the depth? So it's uh it has two eyes, just like you and me. Okay. So there's a left camera and the right camera, and there, there is a slight difference uh, between uh, these two cameras, and they see the same scene, but with a slight different point of view. Yeah. And this is uh, actually how our, our brain works, and you, you can actually understand the depths from these two cameras. So we don't project anything in the space, it just understands where these things are. Which is why it only can see 20 meters, be, just like our human eyes can't tell 3D-ness uh, further away. Exactly. Other than overlap, um, it, we can't actually see depth either. Um, it's just you're turning this into a, a computer model as it, it goes down. You can sort of see that model here. What are we seeing here? What, explain so what we're seeing. So you actually see for every pixel of the image, you, you know where it is in terms of distance. So we can actually say, okay, this wall uh, is at five meters away. And so you can actually measure the whole space because for every pixel you have in your image, you know exactly where it is in space. Yeah. So, and why is this going to be important? Uh, it, it, drones, you sort of mentioned, and self-driving cars, uh, it'll be important. But why is this really going to be important in, in the next decade? Because look at the robot. You want him to uh, drive autonomously. But today, it's actually blind, so it doesn't know where to go. If you give him this sense of depth, it can actually make decisions and actually be smarter and say, OK, I cannot go there because there is someone, or I should go there because there is a door. So you are actually bringing eyes to machines so that, the, so can, so that we can interact with machines and they can actually help us, you know, like following us, helping us. So yeah, we're actually bringing them the eyes. Yeah. That's it. Tell me about the competitive market for this. So, you know, Prime Sense got bought by Apple and was building a little 3D sensor, but it wasn't doing it really with two lenses. No. It was doing it by spitting out some infrared right. light and measuring how long it came to come back. Come back. Exactly. Tell me about how this fits into the market because there's Matterport, there's other yeah. companies out there. Yeah. So it's the the main difference is really uh, that we're. So the camera works on a very simple principle, human vision. So other sensor you mentioned, they worked on projection of IR or yeah, structure light, time of flight, we all know them. They are good cameras for just to control, uh, maybe scanning objects, but as soon as you want to go outdoors and as soon as you want to have larger environments, you cannot use them because uh, first they're blind by sunlight and, and then they, see, they have a very short range. So they're good for, for some application, but as soon as you want to do augmented reality outdoors in large space, you cannot use them. Yeah. And as soon as you want to go outside, make a, a, an autonomous drone or a robot, of course it's outside, so you cannot use them. Yeah. And in this case, you would use a LiDAR, which is a 
extremely expensive. Yeah. So and it's a moving part where this is, has no exactly. moving parts. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for maintenance, it's uh, very difficult. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what you guys do. Um, how did you fund this company? How did you get so to this So we point? started uh, five years ago, and we actually developed a, a 3D camera for the movie industry. So we actually worked for five years in Hollywood, and we developed a, a powerful software that replicates human vision. And we actually worked with the James Cameron uh, team to build the smartest 3D camera for Avatar SQL. And then at the end of 2014, we said, hey, everybody needs to see in 3D. So we should bring everything we've done for the movie industry and bring to everyone in the world. So this is, uh, yeah, when we decided to launch the Z camera. So yeah. we launched it in May, and it's having, it's having a huge success towards developers and anybody who wants to build a, a new system, you know? So yeah. Google exciting. has this uh, Tango phone coming out. Are, are you aware of that? And yeah, of course. How will this compete with that? And, or is it a different system? Explain where you think the market will go over the next year. So it's a, uh, yeah, it's a. Because I expect these, cam I've seen like the Intel camera has seven sensors on the back of the camera. Yeah. I don't know how it's working. So you probably know that better than <laughs> it's a potential competitor, right? Yeah, so the thing is we really wanted to make it simple. Yeah. So we gather all everything we've done before into a very cheap and, and actually simple to use system because we really want to enable people to put this on any type of machines. So it's a bit different because we want it to be universal, like it's just plug and play. You plug it and then your robot knows where to go. Uh, you plug it yeah, into your smart glasses and then it uh, captures the space, do the scanning and then add uh, elements into it. So we strongly believe that it needs to be very simple to be uh, universal. Yeah. Um, this is obviously going to get miniaturized over the yeah, next five course. years. Yeah. How aggressively do you think it will get miniaturized? When, when is this going to be built into a, a glass that I'm wearing like a Magic Leap? Because you know, it's it's fairly big today. You yeah, don't put that on your head. Exactly. No. <laughs> Maybe so it really a minor depends, way, but It really depends on the application. Today we're targeting autonomous uh, navigation, so it, it needs to be it needs to be bulky and strong to be put on a robot, and it needs to be far to see far away. So next year we're gonna come up with a new camera, which is gonna be half the size of this one, and then in two years we we'll definitely see it even smaller. So very it's, cool. uh, it's, it's very simple. It's just the distance between the two eyes that can be reduced. So Very cool. Um, uh, where do we get it? You get it online. Yeah. Uh, you can go to uh, stairlabs.com and you can order it and we ship right away. Very cool. Worldwide. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Actually.